Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and welcome to the finale of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie 2007 game for the Wii. And as, you, as I said, it's the finale, because this is the final mission of the game. This is Mission 16, Winter's Secret. In the last video, we completed the second to last one, which was Mission 15, The Mysterious Leader. Now, this is the final mission in this whole entire game before we're officially done, ladies and gentlemen. So, strap in and get some snacks and be prepared to witness the final episode of us playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the 2007, no, for the Wii 2007 movie game replay. Because, as I said, I'm replaying this game after years, so, you know, this was a replay. If you didn't know the title of my videos, where we're saying replay because this is me replaying the game after... Last time when I completed in 2018 for the first time, they completed again with all the goodies unlocked. But anyway, you get the point of the matter, so the replay of this game is almost done, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get in, not waste any more time, and start Mission 16 and finish this up once and for all and complete this baby. Let's do it. Winter's Secret. But of course, cutscene. Let's watch. its way across the galaxy, slammed into Earth's atmosphere, and landed in the tower's portal receiver, indicating that Winters had already started the ceremony. And then another scene from the movie. I like how this game always, you know, during the middle of these cutscenes, these storytellers, they show actual scenes from the movie. It's pretty cool. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting into it. You know what? Let me turn the volume up for this one because, hey, this is the final mission, right? Oh, there's only one. Never mind. Now there's multiple. Here we go. Oh, there's one back there, too. I didn't even see that either. Let me take care of him. There we go. See, Leonardo's uh, combo attack is pretty good, too. Take care of Leo's as well. I gotta take care of those arrows, because those arrow guys are really becoming a big problem. Ooh. Switch with Michelangelo now. Yeah, nice try, big fella. Okay, this is where I'm gonna need to use Michelangelo special. Let me try Michelangelo special here. <laughs> KO two at one. That was cool. Nice try. <laughs> yep, you got that right, Mikey. That was a good one. Anyway, so we can go in either of these two directions to uh, climb up. Doesn't matter which way we go. Same thing, so. Here we are. Cool! Yeah, think. Okay. Ah, shoot! Dang it! I knew I was gonna jump. Let me do this. Just like I did in my last video. Stun the leader guy. Let's try this. Bam! There we go. That's beautiful. I love that. See, I love Raph's special. Raph's special is probably the best. 
Raph is probably, Raphael's special is probably my number one favorite in this game. Just, his special just seems to work the most all the time, because you can instantly kill opponents with it. Oh, he's gonna stab me. Okay, I'm doing good here. Oh my god, I didn't even know that was an, that was an arrow guy, too. <laughs> Excellent. Two of them. And that's good. So we're really on a roll here so far. We're taking care of these Foot Clan like they're nothing. Anyway, we're on an elevator now, so I think we're about to go up to a floor, I believe. I mean, of course we are. Why would we be? Why would we be in an elevator? <laughs> Never mind. That was just me talking some smack. I was about to say, I hope I didn't jump too early. This is a tricky jump. Yeah. All right. Let me go ahead and switch the pace with Michelangelo. Now this part can be kind of tricky because we got to dodge these, uh... Anyway, basically what we have to do is, this is like a laser drill room, so basically what we have to do is we have to climb to the top and get away from that laser thing. You saw it was a whole beam. If that thing hits us, we're dead and we have to start all the way over again. So, you can't let that thing hit us, otherwise we'll have to go all the way back. Like right there, we have to always keep getting into these rooms. We have to go and keep going into these rooms to get away. Like I said, if we're in that beam, we'll get hit, and, you know, we're dead, as I said, so got to be careful here. Anyway, open back up. Thank you. Now, sometimes these things do go faster and faster as well, so it's like we have a time limit, you know what I'm saying? I think somewhere around here, I think we got to climb a raft. Yeah, here we go. Anyway, we've had to climb it, Raphael. Alright, let me get over here with... Open back up, please. Thank you. Yeah, see, these things are going faster, so we gotta hurry up. Right. Gotta really hurry up. Come on, Raphael. You got this, man. Yeah, alright. You got this, Raph. Excellent. Alright, we made it in. This next one, we gotta go around. I think we gotta either go around, or I think I can use Mikey's nunchucks. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Can I go around like this? Can I do this? Oh, I can do that. Okay. I was gonna think about using Mike. Mikey's nunchucks to help me climb up there, but never mind. I guess I can do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I can't climb up. I think I might have killed myself. I think I'm dead. I think I effed it up. Okay, I made it. I missed that coin, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. I really should have grabbed that coin, but it's alright. I mean, I don't need to grab those coins, but I like to. It's okay. It's not that much of a big deal. It's just coins. So we made it out. Good. That was pretty good. <sighs> I almost missed that jump. Right. Dang it! I guess I had to do a team move, okay. So we get to that one, I gotta do a team move, okay. Let me try that again. I have to do another one, probably. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. Alright, doing pretty good. Let's keep it up. You got him, Leonardo. Come on, man. Uh, I definitely need to do a jump here. But I gotta balance. Another one. <gasps> no, I'm gonna fall. Woo, that was so close. I almost fell right there. I was trying to get into the center of it so it would balance. Alright, come on, Donatello. You got this. Look how many coins there are. Whoa! I did not see there, Mr. Fella. 
Mr. Electricity. Alright, come on, go away. Wait for the electricity to go by. Gotta be careful, because if that thing shocks us, we'll fall. I gotta go. This is tough. I mean, it's not really that tough, but it's looking like it's gonna get tough. Here we go. Excellent. In-flight entertainment. Yeah, you are right about that, Raphael. We do got in-flight entertainment. A little something to keep our ninja skills going, I guess. If that's what you want to call it. So this will go on for a little while because the ele this little escalator thing has to keep going up. So it'll take a little bit of time before we reach up to the top, but you'll see. I'm going to wait till it's like there's about five of them before I use Donatello Special because I will probably have to use it eventually, but... Come on. Whee! You missed me. Yeah! <laughs> okay, there's more. Takes a little more time for these guys to show up. Three, two, one. Is there more? I was about to say, is there more? Come on, Leonardo. Oh, God! That guy just appeared right in front of me. Let me try Mikey special. Excellent. Okay. Cowabunga! You haven't said that in this whole game so far, Mikey. That's your catchphrase. Let me try this. Okay, at least I killed one. God, that one had to show up right in front of me. Any more of you guys showing up? Yeah, this fight will kind of go on for quite a while. But we're almost done, I think. I think the elevator is almost about... Well, it's not... I don't know what this is. But I think it's almost up to the top, I think. Yeah, nice try. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! I appeared that right in front of me. Oh, I took them both out. Oh, I can knock him off. Cool. I can knock him right off the arena. I think these are the last ones. Okay, not yet. So that was it. <laughs> I don't blame you, Donnie. I think I would have not liked that either. Now, I don't know what that thing is, but apparently we gotta run away from it, because otherwise if it touches us, we're dead, so... I don't know what that thing does, but obviously it's a terminating kind of thing, so... We gotta get away from that. We gotta keep rolling and rolling and rolling. Come on, wall jump. I almost got hit. It's like the modern version of that boulder, remember? Boulder? <laughs> Michelangelo. Yeah, dude, how can I forget? <laughs> ah, Michelangelo. That's why some people love him as his favorite turtle, because he's funny. Alright, I'm gonna switch with Donatello now. Let's let Donnie take care of the rest, since he's interested in this thing, so... I think it's best to let the techno turtle finish the job done, right? Ooh, that thing's fast. Okay, this is our exit drill. Wow, Matt, did you do all this? Not me. It was the night watch. But dude, 
<laughs> Michael, I like how Michelangelo was like, but dude, oh wait, I get it, because Leonardo asked him, wow, did you do all this? Not me, it was the Night Watcher. Well, I mean, even though at the time he already admitted that he was the Night Watcher, but I mean, I don't know. To be honest, even though Michelangelo said he gets it, I don't know if I, if I really understand completely. Although I did mention you guys in one of my previous videos. Oh, I'm, I should have jumped, sorry. <laughs> That's better. I should have mentioned before, like, I think I mentioned it in one of my previous videos, but <clears throat> in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that the, the Night Watcher was, was, was somebody else in some points. I can get up here, right? But, like, in some of the comics or whatever, I don't know what it was, when I looked up who the Night Watcher was, it said that it wasn't only Raphael who was the Night Watcher, there was some human that became the Night Watcher, too, so... Yeah, I've never seen that, so I don't know who they're talking about, but pretty interesting to know. I missed the jump, didn't I? Okay, I didn't. I thought I missed it, but okay, I'm good. I don't know what Donatello just said. I, I actually got this. It looks like we could use a sword or two. Is that what he said? Is that what he said? What's going on with the gate? Okay, now this, I gotta be careful. Can I make it all the way over there? Nope! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No big deal. I didn't think I was going to, but I thought I'd try it. Anyway, this is that jungle place. Like I said, this is actually... I don't know if you guys have already noticed by now, but this is actually the same exact place that the Night Watcher was in. Remember in Mission uh, Mission 9, we infiltrated Winter's Tower? This is actually the same exact place we infiltrated Raphael with as the Night Watcher in Mission, in Mission 9. So we're revisiting Winter's Tower, but this time we have all four of the turtles with us. I just wonder if you guys already knew that before or not. So basically, this is the same exact place we infiltrated in the in the ninth mission with uh, the Night Watcher or Raphael as the Night Watcher. So we, we we are revisiting this place, but just it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same as it was before then. So it's pretty cool how we're revisiting this place. But anyway, let's keep going and check this out. Check out who we're about to bump into. Hey, that's Winter. Monsters. No, we're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and we're here to stop you from bringing more monsters on Earth. You were it all wrong, my friend. It was a time of legends, a time of greatness. There was a man named Yotl, and together with his four warrior priest generals, they pillaged every culture in their path. Then, they came across a culture rich with science, magic, and technology sort of a South American version of Atlantis. It was like blood in the water for a predator like Lotto. In his blind desire for victory and power, he unleashed an army of monsters when he opened a portal to another world. But the monsters knew no side. They destroyed Lotto's army, as well as his foe. Generals were responsible for the eradication of the greatest culture that will never be known. The knowledge that was lost on the field of battle that day would never be found again. You see, it was I who stood on that battlefield all those years ago, and my generals and I had to pay a price. We were cursed that day. My four comrades in arms were turned into stone. My curse was to be immortal, to never die, but to feel the pain of losing the ones you loved time and time again. We were doomed to live this way until we corrected the mistakes of our past. That's what this is all about. Finally getting a chance to right our wrongs and to be at peace. Finally. So, yep, that's the whole story for Winters. It's pretty weird in this game, but at least it looks like him. But yep, that's his whole story. So Winters was really that guy Yodo in the in the battlefield, and obviously him and his generals were obviously turned to well, they were cursed into stone, and then Winters or Yodo, as you now know what he really was back then, he was cursed to be immortal to never die. But he wants to correct all that, so it looks like we're now gonna help out Winters with uh, on writing this curse, whatever. But anyway, let's keep going. And this is where things finally come to an end, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Aguila will crush you like 
So anyway, these are one of the generals. We have to fight all four of them, so we've already countered three of them. That guy that's standing in the background, he's the main leader of them all. This is the one that we fought with Donatello in, uh, in Mission 3. If you remember Techno Ninjutsu, this is the one we fought with Donatello, so we're facing him again. Pretty cool stuff. So I forgot, I don't remember their names, but you may remember them. Alright, this is Donatello special, we gotta use it. I'm going to finish him off with Donatello, I believe. So, yep, he's almost dead. And we do get to legit kill them, because in the last time when we fought this guy, he only let us took most of his health away, so we didn't really get to finish him, but it's alright. He's almost dead, so let's keep going. I'm going to keep it up. Come on! He's fast, too. Alright, he's dead. There he goes. But, there's the leader. And check out what he's about to do. So now he's cursing like magic or whatever this stuff is. I don't know what the heck it is, honestly, but we gotta dodge these electricity attacks. And now, here comes this part. So this is that big guy, General Mono, as you may remember him. We fought him with the Night Watcher, or technically Raphael, but as the Night Watcher in Mission 9. This is where we infiltrated, because I told you that in Mission 9 we infiltrated Winter Tower with a uh, Night Watcher, so we're visiting here, and obviously we were facing General Mono again, so... Now I have to switch with Raphael, because Donatello's attacks are weak against this guy. Like, I've tried it as a kid, and his attacks are absolutely weak against this big dude, General Mono, so we gotta use somebody like Raphael or whatever to be able to do better attacks. Raphael's attacks work better on this guy, so I have to use him. So let me go ahead and just uh, switch with Donatello again. I'm just trying to be smart, because like I said, Donatello's attacks, for some reason his boat staff is weak against this guy. I could show you, but I don't... Oh, he almost... Gee, he almost knocked me off the arena. I think we almost got him. Hold on. Okay, not yet, not yet. There we go. He falls down, and now check this out. There's a rage, like a bull rage. Now we gotta do Raphael's special. Boom! Because I mentioned you before, when Knight, when he did that hammer move on me with Nightwatcher, it sends us flying. So obviously if he hit us with that, then we're dead. We can't we can't come back from that. So I'm glad we, we stopped him from that, because otherwise if he hit us with that, we were going to be dead and we would have had to repeat this fight. So, yeah, we have to stop him with it. We have to. Like, we legit have to. I mean, we could beat him in other ways if we could, but there's no way to escape that attack. But anyway, let's continue fighting him. We almost got him. He's almost dead. General Mono's almost dead. And it looks like we're going to have to hit it again because he's about to go into another rage. So hold on. Here we go. Boom! Now he's dead, and now we get to hit him some more. So here we go. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy. Woo! Ah! Dang it, I knew I was going to get hit. Yeah, this, this, this General Mono guy, he's super strong. Gotta watch out. You're dead. Come on. He's dead. Okay. okay, I guess one more hit, or maybe two more should I have to take care of him. There we go. Got him. Alright, watch out. Is that lightning attack again. I feel like there's other ways you can dodge it, but I'm just gonna dodge it this way. Serbiante, I think that's what she said. I don't know. 
I never really ever got these generals' names. I mean, I think they have them in the credits, these, the voice actors, so maybe they would. Oh, got hit. Damn it. I wasn't even meaning to do that, whatever it was I was trying to hit. She does a lot of attacks, apparently. She's pretty fast, too. Okay, we got her. Hold on. Now we gotta do this. Hold on. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, never mind. Sorry, I thought I thought we were gonna use Michelangelo's special, but I forgot. She does that. Dang it. I forgot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Michelangelo's attack does a lot of damage on her. So, we really should have brought out Mikey, but that's alright. Now we use it. And this should finish her. Yep. There she goes. Yep, she's dead. Now, obviously, that was the third one, so there's only one left, and that's this guy, the leader of the pack. I forgot his name, but you get the point. He's the last one left, so in a little bit, we're about to face him, so here we go. I'll let him heal a little bit. Now, basically, the only way to beat this guy is just to keep hitting him with the turtle special. So, obviously, for the first one, we gotta hit him with Michelangelo's special, as you can see. He's the last one left, as I already said, so he's the one that we gotta defeat. Now, we gotta use Donatello's special. He's pretty easy. He uses lasers, and it's like we laser him back, almost. I don't know, but it seems like it, kind of, if you ask me, so, anyway... Dodge more of these fireballs. Now Raphael. Oh god, I got hit. Am I gonna hit him? There we go. And now Leonardo. This should finish him. There we go. He's dead. That was the last one, y'all. And now, here comes a cutscene. Another actual scene from the movie. Winters. And obviously because we finished we finished off the generals, that means that his immortality curse has been depleted, which means he's mortal again, and now I think he pretty much died here, I don't know, but it's like he turned to dust. I think he's mortal and I think he's able to die, I think. I think that's what happened to him, I don't know. Dang it, Raph. You just, I just gotta love how it just keeps showing scenes from the movie. Now, this is that trophy room I was talking to you about, how it's got throwbacks from the T. So, like this, watch this. It not only contains Winter's helmet, you see there's the scepter down below it in that glass, and there's the Shredder's helmet, and then on the far left is the canister that contained the mutagen that transformed him. So, that's a callback to those three live action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies, which I think that's what it is. Just as I am honored to go the four of you to my sons. Wow, Splinter sure loves hearing us tell that story. Yeah, that's why I love telling it to him. Sure was bad at the time. 
and it made us way stronger, too. And that's because we're a family, guys, and there ain't nothing stronger than that. It was a difficult lesson to learn, my sons, but I am so proud of you, because you all learned it together. So there you have it, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry I was quiet for so long, I just wanted to let those cutscenes speak. But there you have it, folks. That was the final mission. We have completed it. We defeated all four of the generals, and they're all dead. Winter's or Yodel's curse has been completed as well, and he died as a brave warrior. And this is how the game ends. You see all four of the turtles standing, clapping, you know, applauding for us, and we get a credit. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the final mission. The game is finished. We have done it. The Turtles' missions are done. And now, the world's at peace once again. So, we have officially completed the game, ladies and gentlemen. Which, it, it was pretty good to replay this game again. I enjoy it. Because I love this game, you know. So, it was great to replay this game again. And it was great to complete it once again. So, there we are, yo. It's pretty good just to see the Turtles clap. Pla applauding for us, clapping for us with our efforts, so that's cool, you know. It's pretty nice just seeing that. Gotta love that. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is over. So I hope you enjoyed me replaying this game, ladies and gentlemen, as much as I enjoyed it. It really was pretty good to replay this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2007 movie game again for the Wii. Definitely bringing back memories as a kid, and it definitely brought some things back from when I hadn't played it since 2018, the first time I completed it on my channel, or the second time when I completed it with those little goodies on, but I hope you enjoy that, so I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen, so I don't know when I'll be back with another video on my channel, but I probably will be back very soon, because there is another gameplay series I want to start on my channel very soon, but it's probably going to be a little while. I don't know when I will get into it, but I will get into it eventually one day, so... You'll see. So I hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. I am out of here. I don't know what that knocking was about, but just ignore it. So I'm out of here, y'all, so... Excuse my mother. I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I'm just, you know, I just didn't know if she was going to go by or not. But, it's okay. Like I said, this happens a lot, you know, you guys already have heard my parents walk in here plenty of times before, so it's not a big deal. But anyway, that was it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that, so I'll be back with another gameplay video real soon. I don't know when I will. So I told y'all there was two other games I want to play next, but I don't know when I'll be back with that. I don't know when I'll start my next gameplay, or maybe when I'll make another react. Or just whatever video I come up with, I'll maybe hopefully make one very soon, so we'll see. I don't know when I'll be back with another video on my channel, but hey, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, and be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified about every video when I upload. Or if you've already subscribed, then stay tuned, and hopefully y'all can't wait for the next video, so I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna get a drink, and I'm probably just gonna just stay chilling in here, probably till it's my bedtime. I'm probably gonna maybe watch some videos on YouTube, might even check to see how my friends are up to, and probably might continue watching the Ninja Turtle series, because I told y'all while I was playing this game, I was, I'm re-watching a Ninja, a Ninja Turtle series that I have on DVD. It's the 2012 Nickelodeon 3D animated Ninja Turtle series. I love that series. That's my favorite Ninja Turtle show. And, you know, speaking of which, the last time I did voice comparisons, I was actually voice comparison the Ninja Turtle characters, you know? So I was doing voice comparison for Ninja Turtle characters, and I never really finished that either. I never really finished my Ninja Turtle voice comparison video, so you know what? Maybe I should react to them as well. Maybe I should continue my my voice comparison reaction videos and maybe finish off the rest of the Ninja Turtle characters because I did find more Ninja Turtle voice comparison videos and maybe I should finish the rest of those voice comparison videos that that one YouTuber has and because there's a certain YouTuber I love to check out that has those voice comparison videos so maybe I should check them out pretty soon and then maybe I'll uh, when I get the chance I'll eventually you know then maybe check out some other voice comparison videos because I did tell you I was gonna want to do Mortal Kombat character voice comparison videos so we'll see you know 
maybe I can do that for my next video or not. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but just stay tuned for the next video period. I hope you enjoyed this one regardless. Like I said, I really enjoyed playing this game again. I'm going to check it out. It's got the voice comparison. Yeah, James Arnold Taylor is Leonardo, even in the movie. Those those voices, they're the same exact voices that are from the uh, that are from the from the movie. The, all all four of those men that voice the Ninja Turtles in this game are the same ones that voice them in the movie. So yeah, James Arnold Taylor voices Leonardo in this movie in the game. That's pretty cool. James Arnold Taylor is a good voice actor, so he actually did pretty good. He actually does a pretty good job as Leonardo. As I said, if it wasn't for this game and the movie, I would have never become the fan of the Ninja Turtles I am today. So I owe everything to this game and the movie. And Nolan North was Raphael. That's pretty cool. Love Nolan North best as as uh, as Deadpool, and I love him as Superboy from Young Justice and the Krang from that 2012 Ninja Turtle series that I'm currently rewatching that I love a lot. He's a very talented voice actor, but it's pretty cool to see him voicing Raphael as well, you know. But anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and end it off. Like I said, I'm probably going to go get a drink. I'm probably just going to chill myself for the rest of the night until my bed comes up later. So, I'm out of here, y'all. So, stay tuned for whenever the next video comes out very soon. And I hope you enjoy and be prepared because, you know, I enjoy making this stuff on my YouTube channel because it really keeps me going, you know, keeps me busy, you know. Because if I didn't have my YouTube channel, I don't know what I'd be doing, so... Once again, ladies and gentlemen, give this a thumbs up, and be sure to share this with all your friends, because I have a whole playlist of me replaying this game, so just check it out. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, enough's been said, so I'm out of here, so stay cool and stay in peace, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll be back very, very soon, so that'll be it for today, guys. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, just like to give it a thumbs down. Join me next time for the next video, to all your boys, men, and guys out there. Boom, fist bumps go to all of you, and to all the girls, ladies, and women out there, mwah, kisses go out to all of you. But until then, this is Joe Flash signing off, and have a good day.